What's going on, comic book people? Jimmy C. Uh, I just got back. I was in Lancaster, Pennsylvania for work for a couple of days. It's really nice out, and uh, so I took the family with me. They had a wonderful time. There's just so much to do out there after work. Uh, you know, there's Am it's Amish country, tons of crops and fields and cows, Thomas the Train, Choo Choo. So we had a great time. I got back home uh, today, and uh, I got to do it. We got a CGC unboxing and a comic original comic art unboxing so I got the box I opened it I have not looked at anything yet I just uh, I don't want to fiddle and putz around uh, and what have you guys watching me play with tape and scissors so without further ado let's go and see what we got nothing major just some books I had I you know I just wanted to I wanted to send some stuff in I had the urge you know uh, once in a while you know you haven't sent in a while you got CGC withdrawal so, uh, oh look, first one out of the, out the gate. Can you guys see it? CGC 9.8, uh, the Rick and Morty uh, Spidey 300 swipe. That's a good way to kick it off. 9.8, let's hope the rest of them are. Oh yeah, I'm so happy about this one. I'm always like hesitant with the dark colors. Never mind, I'm always hesitant with like the black covers and it's like a, a book that's not worth anything. The, I want, I sent this in because I have the cover to this and I just, any book, any, any artwork I could get a 9.8 of, you know, obviously modern stuff is easier. I want it. So like, wow, that's a score. I'm super happy about that. I have this cover. I love it to death. Uh, see, look, we weren't lucky on this one and I didn't do a 9.8, uh, protection. I sent in both hoping one would pull the 9.8. So you know what? I'm happy. So this one is fodder. I'll just give it away. I guess this will be something uh, I throw in down the line. So uh, okay, that's good. I wanted them. One of them pulled a nine eight. I'm happy. Let's see what what do we got next? Oh yeah. How about that? Bought this book raw for uh, probably two bucks. I sent in one before and I pulled a nine six white pages. Same as this one. I saw that one many moons ago. I bought, I got like, uh, I got issues one and two. I got about eight copies of each of them for uh, two bucks a pop. I always knew one day these books would spike. Uh, too bad I just couldn't be patient because this is the last one I own. But hey, better, better, uh, better now than never. Oh yeah, here we go. This, I guess, uh, this book I was worried about, but uh, I guess we pulled it. We did there, we got it. <laughs> How the Tr Trump Stole Christmas, 9-8. That's pretty sweet. That's a nice uh, Christmas cover. Let's see what's next. Oh, yeah. The foil. This one I knew was going to pull a 9-8. Anything foil, if you uh, you know there's no dents, you're pulling a 9-8. A 9-9 would have been really sweet, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? The man, the myth, the legend, pulling the 9 8 Let's see what's next. Oh, another Rick and Morty. It's pretty good haul. Uh, you know, like I try to, I try to like stare and stare and like go over these books with a fine tooth comb. And no matter what you do, once you hand them in, you don't know what they're doing. Like, cause I handed these in at a convention. I handed these in at East Coast Comic Con, so you never know what's going on. Uh, how about that? Three for three with the Rick and Mortys. That is effing sweet. I'm psyched. It makes me sad that I sold the rest raw because uh, they were going for like $50, $60 a pop. Um, but I, at least all three Rick and Morty. So two, two of them will be on the block. If anyone's interested, I'm going to keep one. And last but not least, I guess last but least, I forget why I even sent this in. Uh, Illuminati, the first appearance of the Illuminati, number one. 9.8. So, you know, hey, you know what? Not major books. Some of them are just pretty cool and quirky, but... Nine. Oh, I got two more. How about that? Let's see. Oh, like that. Darth Vader, number one, 9.8. This, I, I bought I bought a book from a guy in Canada. I bought um, the black and white Star Wars variant, uh, the John Tyler Christopher with the rabbit beating down the door, the black and white. And the guy forgot to send the book to me. So like two weeks later, I'm like, hey, bro, where's my book? And uh, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. So he sent me this book, Raw. I got the 9 -8, And he sent me this book as well, Raw, The Dark Maul. And they both pull nine. I mean, I don't think they're worth much, but they're cool covers. And uh, 
like I said, I, I just I, I had nothing to send in. I was just looking at stuff. Some, uh, you know, obviously um, the Rick and Mortys are worth a few bucks, and uh, the Eternals, but the rest are just uh, nonsense books. I wanted to send in. Okay, but moving on, I got the comic artwork unboxing. So, uh, full disclosure. Artwork is usually wrapped like immaculate. So uh, honestly, I opened this one up already. So I already saw it, but uh, I didn't want to keep you guys waiting for an hour. Um, so I opened this up and I took it out of the wrappings and I just stuck it back in here. So uh, if this was like a MTV show, uh, you would be none the wiser. But so, uh, oh man, I saw these and I just had to have them. It's Spider-Man from, I guess, a French edition, issue number five, Scott Kobush art, pencils and inks. But look at the, pa every panel, smoking, goblin action, Spidey. <sighs> he's grabbing Aunt May, he's got his on, and then look at this final panel of uh, Spidey. It's just like so much detail. Like, this is like an artist who cares about each panel page. Not like nowadays where like, there's barely five words on a page and the backgrounds are uh, done on computer if at all and there's just like there's no feeling of background it's just the two characters and then i got another goblin page this one is beautiful it's really a full splash with a couple of panels thrown in because the background you could see uh is still done so we'll start aunt may peter's eating some soup aunt may made she's uh lamenting her woes i want to i gotta find the book i mean it's gonna be in french but and then a, just a beautiful full shot of Goblin, like, in action. A lot of times, Goblin, like, people draw him wonky and stuff. Like, Scott McDaniels, I don't like his Goblin at all. Um, Luke Ross, I don't like his Goblin. So, like, even though I love Green Goblin, I just, I don't buy those guys. Because it's just, like, I look at him and it's like, ugh, it doesn't bring me joy. So, like, that's the whole point of artwork. Like, these, I don't know what they're worth. Uh, probably not much, because it's a French Spidey. But uh, I love Green Goblin, and they're just executed so nicely. So, like... They're in my personal collection, and who cares? I'm going to get them framed together, double mat. And uh, they'll go up on the wall with the rest of the goblins. That's it. Jimmy C signing off. Hope everyone's doing well. Have a great weekend. Over and out.